live, local, now. This is WSFA 12 News at 6. A bill that would require more daycare centers to be licensed and inspected took a step forward in the legislature today. It's designed to close the religious exemption loophole and it was passed by the House. A story you'll see only on WSFA 12 News now. Five years after the Midland City hostage crisis, we are talking to the little boy who was at the center of it all. We sat down with now 10 year old Ethan. It's been five years since his kidnapping when a man went on board a school bus in Dale County. WSFA 12 News reporter Randy Hildreth is joining us live in Dothan with the story. And Randy, I'm curious how much of that incident five years ago does little Ethan remember? perfect 100s on their report cards. Impressive. All right, let's take a look at some of the other districts in our area. Pike Road schools got an overall grade of C. The score there a 78. Autauga County school system got a B overall. That falls in line with the state average. In fact, Autauga County exceeded the state average in academic achievement and college and career readiness. Now we've been giving you these scores throughout the evening in various newscasts. We can't give you all of them, but you can search for your county or your system or your individual school at WSFA.com. We have a comprehensive list there and on our WSFA 12 News app, along with a link to the State Education Department's website where that original report card was posted. Happening right now, the City of Montgomery and the State DOT are holding a public meeting. This is a live picture. They're asking you for your input about some proposed changes to Perry Hill Road. The project will widen and resurface Perry Hill all the way from Harrison Road to the Atlanta Highway. It's all about improving that intersection's traffic flow, we're told. This meeting is happening at the Goodwin Community Center on Perry Hill until 7 p.m. tonight. Also, coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, we would like for you to join us for a very special report about Montgomery's selection as the future home of the F-35 fighter jet. That selection will mean some big things in the way of construction, new jobs, not to mention a secure future for the 187th fighter wing in Montgomery. Tonight, we're exploring the effect that selection will have on those with direct ties to the military and other areas. Our Brian Henry will break it down. Join us tonight on WSFA 12 News at 10. We're watching Watching the skies tonight, widespread showers are actually headed our way. When can we expect the rain and how long will it last? WSFA First Alert Chief Meteorologist Josh Johnson is up with those answers next. Josh, thank you. Now let's talk some sports. The AISA State Basketball Tournament underway in Montgomery. We'll show you how local teams are faring in the Elite Eight.